Hi, I'm Jim Walker, Southwest Regional Director for the Archaeological Conservancy. And I'm today here at the newest Conservancy Preserve. This is the Dean Ruin, and we are near Aztec National Monument, near the Four Corners in New Mexico. And the Dean Ruin is a property that we just closed on last week. A generous donation of 26 acres containing very important Chacoan archaeology. And it was donated by Mr. and Mrs. Charles Dean, who uh, used to live here but now live in Texas. And so the Dean ruin consists of a great house, and that's the feature that's right behind me. It also has two great kivas and a number of Chacoan road fragments on it, probably occupied around 1050 AD. And so we're very excited to have this site. This is actually a point project. Even though it was a donation, we are using point money to cover the costs of closing the property, including the cost of a survey, the cost of title insurance, uh, and the cost of other incidentals. And so uh, we're very happy to be on this property today. And uh, this is actually our 135th point project. We have been able to, over the last number of years, uh, purchase 135 properties using money out of our point program. We have some very interesting material culture that is present on the surface of the site. We have ceramics and we also have lithic debitage that can be seen on the site. And there's another interesting artifact that we also see on the site, especially on one side of the Great House, and that is burned daub. This would have been mud that would have been used in the construction of probably the roof of a feature adjacent to the Great House. And that burned daub actually has a negative impression of a beam that it was once against. So the wood burned, the daub remained, and it is somewhat vitrified. Although the site has not been professionally excavated, it has been surveyed. Uh, there has been some vandalism done on the site in the past. And we feel that despite the vandalism, there is still an awful lot of intact information below the surface. The Dean Ruin is actually part of a larger complex of associated sites situated around Aztec National Monument. The uh, dates of these sites would probably be somewhere around 1050 AD. And uh, the sites were probably part of a very active community. Aztec National Monument represents a very important Chaco outlier. These were major buildings and structures that were built outside of the Chaco community. We are about 50 miles north of Chaco Canyon itself. And these outliers uh, some of them connected by road fragments to the main Chaco Canyon site, uh, share cultural traits with Chaco Canyon. We will have volunteer site stewards who will protect the site, watch over it, and call us or call the sheriff if they see anyone on it. The site will be available for research under controlled conditions. It will also be available for visitation by school groups and interested individuals. However, we don't allow anyone on our preserves unless they're accompanied by either a site steward or a conservancy employee. Behind me is a great house, and it probably was two stories tall, contained maybe between 35 and 40 rooms. On the other side of the great house is one of the great kivas. There are two great kivas on the Dean site. I'm Clay Johnston. I've been a site steward for 19 years. I'm a member with the New Mexico, Northwest New Mexico Site Steward Program. And we have about 250 sites with 52 stewards at the present time. What we do is go out and monitor the sites for vandalism and natural deterioration. My name is Larry Baker. I'm the executive director of the San Juan County Archaeological Research Center and Library at Salmon Ruins. I think we have the longest name of any institution here in the 
northwest New Mexico, uh, better known locally just as the Solomon Ruins Museum. I've been the executive director here now for uh, 24 years, and so I think it's a terminal sentence. I uh, have a long-term history with Solomon going back to the excavation years, uh, and uh, I guess I can call this my home base. Uh, I was here while the site was under excavation by Dr. Cynthia Irwin Williams and had a research position with Eastern New Mexico University at that time. Solomon is a 11th century uh, Pueblo affiliated with the Chaco culture, and it is one of two true Chacoan colonies. There's about 150 to 200 sites that are affiliated with Chaco at one level or another, but Solomon Ruins and Aztec Ruins are really the only sites that are identified as Chacoan colonies. The Archaeological Conservancy and I have been involved at a variety of levels uh, for a number of years, uh, which includes our involvement in terms of their site protection through our Northwest New Mexico Site Stewards Program. And this program is involved with some 52 volunteers and uh, over 200 sites now protecting and preserving sites from looting and vandalism here uh, in Northwest New Mexico. And uh, our involvement now includes sites uh, that are protected by the Archaeological Conservancy. Uh, sites uh, like the new site, the Dean site, uh, is uh, one of those sites, um, the uh, Garcia Canyon Pueblito, uh, and uh, sites now under uh, their stewardship in the La Plata Valley. So we have done other preservation efforts with the Archaeological Conservancy. I think they're doing a fabulous job. Uh, and one of the sites that they acquired has considerable standing architecture and a partially intact roof, and that's Garcia Canyon Pueblito near Navajo Reservoir. We were able to help uh, the Conservancy acquire that from private landowners, and the Conservancy went on to promote and pay for a ruin stabilization, a structural stabilization project there at Garcia Canyon. And I think that we have added to the long-term preservation of the standing architecture of that site. Uh, it's, a, it's a very spectacular example, a classic example of a Navajo defensive site in the broader uh, Gumnador Largo Canyon drainages. Uh, the Chaco system I mentioned earlier about Solomon and Aztec being colonies. There are other sites that are tied with Chaco at one level or another um, because I think that they have something that the Chacoans are desirous of. We spoke of turquoise uh, and the relationship with Guadalupe Ruin and the southeastern part of the Chacoan system. And I believe that the Chacoans saw that those local rural Puebloans had some trading relationship or maybe direct procurement with uh, the Cerrios mines. And the Chacoans were very desirous of that. And they go and they, they interact with those people and they don't coerce them. They, uh, they, they go bearing gifts. They dance in in their finery, their macaw kilts and copper bells. And they say, you can be part of this if you'll help us procure turquoise from Cerrillos. And I think by the time that they're done with their, their spiel, I think that uh, local folks are saying, you know, Martha, I'm going to sign up. Um, and they become part of this greater Chacoan system. Salmon is directly connected uh, with the Chaco Corps. It's a late Chacoan community uh, in the uh, 11th century. We see that by the time Solomon's built, it's all about planning. And there are uh, uh, four rooms that are built prior to the major construction episode at Solomon. Uh, and these rooms have uh, reliable tree ring dates that are some 20 years in advance of the major Chacoan construction. So it's all about planning by the time they build Solomon, and they incorporate into the site, into the architecture, uh, into the cultural materials here 
at Salmon, all of those components that we see in Chaco Canyon. In looking at this great kiva, which is Solomon's great kiva, you see some of the same elements that we saw at the great kivas at Aztec, but this kiva looks a lot more like the kivas at the Dean Ruin, and you can sort of look at this and imagine this filled with dirt, and if it was filled with dirt, it would look like the depressions that we were examining at the Dean Ruin, the two great kiva depressions.